Hi and welcome to a Whimsy Stamps video. Today I'm sharing how I created this fantastic slimline card using the new 6x9 Infinity Stencil as well as some slimline dies, our cutie alphabet die set, and this adorable little sea turtle. Now I've already used some blue ink and stenciled the infinity stencil on some white cardstock and I used my largest slimline corner die to cut that out and I also cut out a couple wavy die cuts out of some teal blue paper and some dark blue paper and I'm gluing my first little wave here at the top of my white cardstock directly down with some wet glue. My blue wave I'm actually going to use some foam tape, some foam adhesive strips, I guess I should say instead of foam tape, foam adhesive strips. And I'm just going to kind of zigzag those behind my blue paper. And this will just add a little bit of dimension to this wave and kind of layering it up for some fun with that teal, kind of minty teal blue color. So I'm going to pull off all of the release paper and then I'm going to line that up so the wave just fits right under. I don't want any white to show so I'm just layering them there following the kind of curve of that first paper. And I just love how it kind of gives a kind of watery wavy look there on the top. So I'm going to trim off the excess paper and I've already die cut the sentiment fantastic out of that same blue cardstock and I line them up using some repositional tape to help keep my sentiment nice and straight. I applied some wet glue behind each of those die cut letters and I'm going to use my grid mat here to help me line up that sentiment so it's as straight as I can get it onto the lower right hand part of my background. I also have the little dots above the eyes and I'm just using a jewel picker and my wet glue to glue those down as well. Now for my cute little sea turtle, I'm going to stamp him using some black ink that is alcohol marker friendly onto some white cardstock. And I have my alcohol markers. I use Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers and I'm going to color in my turtle. So for my turtle shell, I'm going in between different shades of brown and tan colors to color that in. And I'm just going to share how I colored the top of my turtle shell. I will color the bottom off camera. But I like to start with my lightest tone just to lay down some color and then I'm going in with a darker tone and filling in where there would be shadow on the shell. I have a mid-tone where I'm going to bring up some of that dark color and once I'm done with my mid-tone I'm going to go back to my lightest and fill in the image. I didn't think that there was a enough shade or shadow in my turtle shell so I will bring back that dark color and just kind of add some more to my shadows and then I will again use that lightest color to blend everything together and when I'm happy like I said I will move on to the bottom part of the shell but I'm going to go ahead and do that off of the camera. For my turtle, I guess most turtles are green, right? If you were to assume the color of a turtle, it would be green. But I wanted to tie in some of that teal blue color for my card. I mean, I have the blue from the Infinity Stencil design. I have my teal and blue for my waves and my sentiment. So I went ahead and grabbed my greenish teal colors and I'm gonna lay down with two different tones. So I'm taking my darker tone and just flicking in some color where the shadow would be on the turtle and then my lighter tone to blend everything out. I will do a couple layers of this color to really blend in those two shades together so it looks a little more clean and more seamless. Uh, the transition between those two colors. And once I'm happy with the color of my turtle's body, I'm going to repeat the same coloring process on his cute little head, just going back and forth between those two shades to color in and make sure his head looks round, you know, that there's shadow in the right spots on my turtle. I took the darker tone and colored around his eyes and then I'm adding in some little kind of freckly spots in different areas of my turtle. I like doing this to my critters just to give it some texture and make it look a little more realistic even though it is a cartoon. I'm taking a blue color and just going around the iris of the turtle's eyes to give it some color and some character. 
I went ahead and fussy cut him out and now I have my white gel pen where I'm just bringing in to highlight some areas around my turtle. And once I'm all done with that, I'm going to pop him up onto my card. So I peeled off my mint tape here that was holding my sentiment down while the glue dried. And then I am using some circle pop-up foam pieces here and taking off the release paper, then applying my turtle down to the card. I like how he's a little off-centered and looks like he's floating up to say hello. I have these clear bubbles for my stash and I'm just going to lay those on my card and use my jewel picker and wet glue to place those down. I thought I would also bring in some more of that aquamarine kind of teal mint color so I'm using my pops of color to add in some little spots in various areas of the card. And once I'm happy with that, I'll realize that I don't actually have my background on a card base yet. So I cut a card base out to a slimline size, which is three and a half by eight and a half once it's scored. And then I'm going to use my wet glue to apply adhesive behind my background. And then I'm just using the corner of my Misty to help me line that up to my card base and applying that down, making sure to not accidentally smear any of those pops of color spots that I've added. I'm going to use my large scissors here to trim off the corners so it has this fun detail all the way around the card as it matches my die. And here is a final look at this fantastic card. You can find a list of all the supplies I use down in the description as well as links to purchase them yourself. I hope you'll also click like if you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you'll subscribe if you're new here to the Whimsy Stamps channel. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you also go ahead and follow us on Instagram, Pinterest, and our Facebook group where you can find more inspiration. Bye!